So hi, my name is Michal, and I'm an HR coordinator at Klarna Tel Aviv. I'm here today to talk to you about hiring women for engineering positions in our site. So let's start. The average number of women in tech position in the high-tech industry is 18%. Today at Kalana Tel Aviv, we are 35% women engineers. Every third developer is a woman. But does gender diversity really matter? One of our employees once told me that she thinks that gender diversity creates more team spirit. With less competition and more patience, and that team spirit is what leads to a better results. So how did we achieve it? I would like to share with you today eight tips that helps us recruit women and create a more women-friendly environment in our office. So first, you need to say it out loud. You need to put it on your wall and keep repeating it again and again, that gender diversity is important for us and we are willing to make an effort in order to change it. For example, in order to extend our women pipeline, we streamline CV screening for women and give them more chance to prove themselves in the first technical in interview. And by the way, CV screening is the one and only stage during the, prog the process where women are treated differently. Second, create collaborations and partnerships with, with organizations who promote women in tech. Do it first of all because it's important, and then do it in order to extend your pipeline. And third, it can be really stressful for a woman to be interviewed in front of two men. That's why when a woman comes come, come to an interview, please make sure that one of our interviewers will also be a woman. And another thing, know the language you are using. No more top-notch, rock stars, ninja on your job descriptions. The thing with those words is that they don't speak to women. And more than that, women can read it and tell themselves, I'm not a top-notch, I will not submit my CVs. While men can read it and say, of course I am. Women tend to underestimate their abilities. We need to remember it and choose our words more carefully. Five, try to prefer to put at least two women in your team rather than one. We saw that most of the times it makes them feel much better and create a more easy atmosphere for them in the office. And six, try to keep the percentage of women in your company and percentage of women in management positions in your company the same. At Klarna Tel Aviv, we are today 37% women in management positions. And no kidding, sex jokes are not funny. They are hostile. Please, have zero tolerance for it. And last, make brave decisions. Make brave decisions that will promote women in your company. We promoted one of our employees to be a team lead five months before she gave birth to her first kid. And that was one of the best decisions we've done. So, in order to implement all those tips I was talking about, we as companies and you as managers, and each one of you as an employee, needs to be proactive about it. It's a joint effort, and it's an ongoing effort. I can really say that Klarna Tel Aviv made a big progress in gender diversity, but we still have a long way to go. We still don't have a woman in our product team. We still don't have a man in our HR team. So, when can we say we reach our destination? Well, I believe it's actually not about numbers, numbers and it's not about percentage. It's more about feeling. When we will feel that it's not so hard to recruit women for engineering positions. When you, as women, will not feel so unique by being an engineer. And I believe this day will arrive. And until then, I call companies to make an effort to invest resources in order to create a better industry for women and a better industry for the future generation. Thank you very much for listening.